Hi everybody, I'm Jeff. And I'm Mandy, and these are our two birds. This is Lindy. And this is Gowdy Bird. Say hi, Gowdy. <laughs> <laughs> and we just want to give you an idea of what we've been up to here at our little house for the last couple of months. Angel and Dick have inspired us to dare to do it, and we think we've done it. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't wait to show you what we've done here, what our projects were. But first, we want to tell you a little bit more about ourselves and our family. As you can tell from our accent, we're not from the UK. We live across the sea in the Commonwealth nation of Canada. Our home is in the province of Ontario, near Niagara Falls. We really love our home and have been here since we got married in 2009. Our house is the perfect cozy size for two people and two birdies. Now let's talk about our goals for daring to do it at home and taking care of our wellness. Right, Gowdy? I had two major projects. The first was beautifying and landscaping our kind of boring backyard. And the second and most challenging, attempting to re-roof our entire house by myself. And I wanted to do two things. I wanted to start to become more crafty, which I'm not naturally. <laughs> and I also wanted to work on my baking. So, Ooh. yeah. So. Okay, I'm all right with that. So without further ado, let's roll that clip. It's early spring, and Mandy and I are sitting down to breakfast to discuss our plans. So what I want to do is build... I'm going to create a new focal point in our backyard with a series of homemade planter buckets made from scrap lumber. I want them to be different sizes and brimming with lots of summer flowers. My other idea is to create a new garden area by building a wooden retaining wall. I want it to be a distinctive curved shape, so I'm making it from sections of lumber stood on end and joined together. Mandy likes the plans, but I do wish Lindy would stop chewing them up. First things first, the retaining wall. First thing I gotta do is cut this up into six inch lengths. So let's get to that. Beautiful. But I don't want the tops to just be flat like that. I think it's kind of boring. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is just trim them off at a bit of an angle. It'll give it kind of a cool pointed look, so. better looks nice and round look at that perfect all right only 4,000 more to go here I have already said I want to be more crafty and I thought it would be very cheerful to make a colorful flower wreath to put on my front door we have yellow and so to complement the yellow door I'm gonna make a red flower and the birds are gonna help me right Okay, so I did my measurements on the computer. I think it's four degrees that I gotta cut each side of these two. So I'm just gonna set the uh, table saw here to four degrees. And I'm gonna adjust the fence. Just wanna take a little tiny bit off there. Okay, you can see that each one now has a distinctive kind of keystone shape profile. So when I put them together, look at that. It's gonna form a curve, beautiful. This is the part where the rose starts to come together because you make a little rosebud. How do you do it here? Like that now. Like that. Sort of. I'm all done and I think it looks fab actually. Nice, very fluffy. And uh, yeah, I think before I hang it up, we should have a little bit of a relaxing reward. Lindy Bird, you've been very helpful, and I think you deserve a little bit of millet, and I'm gonna have a little bit of tea.
Meanwhile, in the garage, I've cut all my wood sections out and fastened them together with glue and screws to make gentle curves. Then I lay out the sections and recognize a big issue. Hmm. Well, they look really good, but I don't have nearly enough of these. So, back to the drawing board, I'm gonna go have to cut a lot more. And it's gonna be a long night. I've completed the wall by adding the final sections and painting the back with tar to prevent rot. Then I just add soil and our spring plantings and voila, I think it looks great. I want to work on my baking and in particular something that's both beautiful and delicious that can be very nourishing for the soul. So I'm doing one of the finickiest things you can make which is French macarons. So I actually have tried to make them before and it was uh, reasonably <laughs> This is the part where it can all go wrong. It's very finicky, so I'm going to combine this is the almond flour and icing sugar with the meringue. Really sticky. Okay, it's getting close. It's supposed to kind of pour off. Pouring, mm, yeah, close. Pouring off, sort of. <laughs> so this is my piping bag, and I've got my gooey yellow. I mixed up the mouth. Like, whoa. <laughs> okay, so this is my pattern, which I'm gonna put down. Um, my bird, Lindy, actually <laughs> chewed this one. And while Mandy's making treats, I'm trying to calculate exactly how I'm going to make my wood planter buckets. I need to do some math to figure out exactly how many sections I'll need and what angle to cut them to. Once I start cutting out the sections, I check to make sure they're going to fit together as planned. It looks pretty good. Okay, so these have been sitting for about 30 minutes and they should have a skin over them now. So good enough and they're ready to go in the oven. I've got 20 minutes while the macaron bakes, so it's just enough time for a little cuddle with my birdie. In the south of France. In the south of France. These are far from perfect, but I think they're going to be delicious anyways. Practice makes perfect. I probably need a couple more goes in this. <laughs> But they are bright yellow and the icing uh, for the filling is delicious, very lemony. And you're not really supposed to eat them the first day. They should sort of soak in, um, they become more crispy on the top, but the middle you get sort of the flavor soaking into the cookie. So I'm going to put these in the fridge after I'm done. And Jeff can enjoy one tomorrow and let me know how I did with it. My planter buckets have been glued and screwed together, and I'm using straps to squeeze them tight as they dry. After adding a plywood bottom and tarring the inside, I just have to fill them with soil, and they're ready for our spring planting. And I'm very happy with them. But now, on to more daunting challenges. The roof. The first thing I did was set up a sturdy scaffolding made from lumber. Okay, step A. Okay, well I'm up on my homemade scaffolding here. Seems pretty sturdy and my first job is I gotta remove all these shingles. Okay, well I got some of the shingles off and we got a problem here. This uh, decking up here is not in good shape. It's cracking, it's dry, it's shrinking and falling apart. I can't put the shingle nails directly into this wood here. I'm gonna actually have to get some plywood and put it over top of this. Okay, so the sheathing is going on. It's Dad. looking very good. Hello? Dad. Hello? Hello, I brought you some tea. Tea? Tea time. Do I need this? Mm. 
All right, I got all the sheathing down, the OSB plywood, and I put down all the felt paper, so now I'm ready to do what's the most rewarding part of the job. I'm ready to actually shingle this. After about six weeks of very hard work on the roof, I finally completed the project. And I must say, for an amateur, I think it looks great. And the best part is, I didn't fall once, and it's not leaking. I'm singing in the rain, because the roof isn't leaking. Da -da -da. Now that we've completed our projects, Jeff and I have had time to really enjoy our accomplishments and reflect on our journey. We realize that the most important part of wellness is not our house or possessions, but staying busy and happy and just really enjoying each other. I know we're the lucky ones. For so many people, this is a really lonely and challenging time. Hi, Mommy, it's me. Small gestures can mean so much. Thank you. Oh, and there's one more thing we like to do for our wellness. Well, thank you so much for watching. And from Jeff and Mandy, take care. Stay healthy. And lots of love from your friends in Canada say even though it sounds cheesy it's true i'm glad if i was stuck with someone it was with you. oh thank you babe yeah.